Hola Leo, Sun, Leo, Moons. Welcome to your 2021 Sun, Moon reading. If it resonates, consider personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. When you do this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And while you were talking about that, check out my 2020 Sun, Moon readings that are still in my playlist. I'm doing these in order of requests. So be sure to post up your request. First portion of this reading, we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below, where I will be pulling clarifiers for a deeper interpretation. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. Other things to mention, check out my playlist for what is your ideal career based on your Moon Heaven sign and what is your compatibility with your partner's Sun sign. Ask me a question on Instinco, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to the the traits of your sun moon combination so leo sun leo moons people will, will hear your mighty roar if they injure your pride or criticize you generally you are positive and in a great mood but internally you can also be easily offended and ruthless you demand that people respect your authority and are fiercely independent in relationships you're kind warm and compassionate and in exchange you desire to be adored and admired you will not tolerate disloyalty in a relationship because you are supremely loyal yourself but you can also have a tendency to be possessive and jealous an ideal partner is one who is full of compliments and praise in career a leadership role is what suits you best in fact any position of status and recognition is where you thrive. You're good at taking charge and running projects. You bring the workplace determination, will, and creativity. You're drawn to industries such as acting, public speaking, and the arts. So let's see what's going on with you. Hold on, I have to move over my seat. I feel lopsided. In 2021, Holy Spirit Angels of God's Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Leo, Sun, Leo, Moons for the year 2021? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? Do your messages, any messages you have for Leo, Sun, Leo, Moons will be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for the year 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for January, February, March? For Leo Sun, Leo Moons. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Leo Sun, Leo Moons. For April, May, June, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. July, August, September. July, August, September, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And October, November, December, we have the High Priestess in the Upright. Okay, so we start off at the beginning of the year with forgiveness. Okay, there's somebody that you have, you were clashing with, having conflict with, having disagreements with. Doesn't have to be one person, can be several people. And in the beginning of the year, you've kind of decided enough is enough, or they've decided enough is enough. You've put your, down your swords, you've realized it's not worth, worth the conflict anymore. So there's a lot of forgiveness going on. There's also a, being open to negotiation, hearing what the other side has to say, being more tolerant of that viewpoint, and then kind of working with that is what I'm getting. Now, in April, May, June, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse can go one of two ways. And I... I'm having a tough time to turn. Okay, I'll just tell you the two ways because I'm not going to know until I pull clarifiers in the Vimeo because I, I just feel split either way. Um, it could be half for some of you and the other half for the rest of you. Um, so for some of you, in the period of April, May, June, you're going to be feeling, um, I, I'm not going to say feeling, you're going to be being <laughs> aggressive, pushy, petty. Um, the Queen of Wands, when so she's reversed, is kind of a negative sort of influence. Now, this could be somebody else affecting you, don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's, it's some of you. It, um, I am just trying, I, I'm having a hard time because it, it's just kind of going all, all separate ways. So, I mean, if it applies to you, fine. Okay, so let me back it up. Alrighty. This could be somebody you are afflicted by, somebody who is the traits that I described. They're just kind of, they want their way no matter what. They're gonna be trivial, pushy, petty, aggressive, mean, um, 
all those wonderful things. This could be you too. This could be somebody has affected you. And all of a sudden, you know, because you have that mighty Leo roar, it could be because they disrespected you, they criticized you, you know, injured your pride, whatever we talked about. And this is where you are just like, your temper comes out. And you really kind of, you know, give them the screws because, or put the screws to them or whatever it is, um, just because of your treatment or their treatment of you. So you could easily be this person who, um, you know, you're done with the calm assertion and that's it, you're full steam ahead into being aggressive. Now, for others of you, you could be afflicted by a situation where your confidence is affected. So you just aren't feeling very good about yourself. You aren't feeling good enough. You're feeling insecure. You're feeling weak. You're feeling shy. You're feeling timid. I wasn't getting that so as much um, from that. But um, okay, so I'm going to leave that. I'll, I'll pull the clarifiers and Vimeo to kind of, you know, I knew all of that was clear as mud. So I'm sure you appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Moving into July, August, September, we have the Ten of Swords here in reverse. Now, whatever this was that I talked about here, you managed to come out of it here. So, um, you know, whatever you were kind of working with, uh, if, whether it was the other person or you, internal, you know, conflict you were having with yourself in regards to being off or what have you, Ten of Swords is you coming out of it, um, coming out of that trauma, healing from it, coming out of that dark time. Um, so things really start to turn around, um, starting to feel like your old self again, possibly start a new cycle. Um, but you're kind of, you're kind of done and you're over it and you're starting to feel better, um, and healing from it. So whatever this downtime was, you're feeling better here. Now, as we move forward, and it might be because of this experience that you had here, we find you in October, November, December, really kind of connecting with your inner self and trusting yourself and trusting your hunches. You guys usually do that anyways. You have a hunch and you'll just kind of go with it. As a matter of fact, a majority of your stuff is kind of based on hunches and gut feelings. Um, but I think you're digging a little bit deeper here. I think you're, and it might be because of this, so you might have a spiritual awakening of some sort and decide to have more internal conversations with you. Ask yourself, why did this happen? happen um, you know coming out of it and the whole experience in itself and it's about just you know honing your intuitive abilities that you have um, so they can benefit you kind of moving forward and I do feel like it's a result of what happened during the the prior year I mean prior to this okay I know I'm stumbling a lot I don't mean to so anyways <laughs> if this resonates with you click on the link below to the Vimeo reading I will be pulling these clarifiers go more into depth into these cards consider a personal reading just send me an email we can go ahead and set that up check out my playlist in there are my 2020 sun moon readings what is your ideal career based on your midheaven what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on Facebook Instagram and TikTok like share subscribe and or donate otherwise I'll see you in Vimeo adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.